Our parents are going to learn now about young women who are growing up in this girl power era. High stress can come with those high expectations. And in her new book, Enough As She Is, Rachel Simmons looks at how we can teach girls to be kinder to themselves. We're going to speak with her in a moment. First, Deborah Roberts brings us her conversation with a group of young women about the challenges they face. I'm studying Africana Studies, and I'm pre-med. I study psychology and economics. I study government and history. Young women at the top of their game, studying at highly competitive Smith and Mount Holyoke colleges. Show of hands, how many of you would say you feel stressed a lot of the time? <laughs> <laughs> how much do you think about or worry about failure? That's always in the back of my head, but it's never been an option, if that makes sense. Like we don't really talk about how failing is not only an option, but is sometimes the only option. Failure is learning. And I think women and girls are not really taught that. Whereas for men my age, for them, failure is inevitable and it's um, a way to grow. Yet as accomplished as they are, graduating at rates higher than guys, often with better grades, many young women are downright miserable inside, says a new book, Enough As She Is. Educator Rachel Simmons has spent years documenting the state of young women and says research shows that girls today are showing rates of depressive symptoms more than twice as much as boys. Do you have downtime? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> you all laugh. <laughs> You know, I don't find myself with a lot of downtime, and when I do have downtime, I don't really know what to do with it. Like, what should I be doing now? Like, I'm checking my lists, making sure that there's not something that I'm missing. It's something I'm working really hard to add to my schedule, to make a part of my routine, because I think it's so important. You need things that bring you joy. I actually have a lot of downtime, um, but I factor in my downtime for my self-care. So what does that include, your self-care and your downtime? So I don't study after dinner. Um, at all. And I do all my studying before dinner. It's worked really well for me because at the end of the day, I feel like I accomplished something. Let me ask you, when we're talking about stress, finish this sentence for me. Sometimes I worry that I... Sometimes I worry that I'm not good enough. I think that in an environment like this, it's very easy to compare yourself to the person sitting next to you. Um, and that can definitely start these things in your head instantly about you're not good enough or you're not worthy. I try not to compare myself to others, but I think it happens naturally just because we're living in a space where like we're constantly com seeing other people's performance and successes. I'm working on trying to like look inwards and really just focus on myself. In a world empowering them to be anything they want, Simmons says we may have forgotten one key message for girls, that you don't have to be perfect. What did you tell your high school self that you know now? You're not perfect, and that's, that's good. We need to live as people, not as these sort of perfect women robots. For Good Morning America, Deborah Roberts, ABC News, Northampton, Massachusetts. And Rachel Simmons joins us now. Welcome back. Thank you. Know, you. My, my, my daughters are in this right now. I have a 15-year-old and a 12-year-old, especially the 15-year-old. That pressure, you can feel it growing. And you say it comes out in unexpected ways as well. I do. I want to ask the audience to do an activity with me. Everybody sit in your chair right now the way you think a typical guy sits in his chair. Well, they're right. <laughs> Everybody's leaning back. And what about the way you think a typical girl sits in her chair? So you can see the difference. Guys get more permission to take up space. Girls get that pressure to be in, quiet, small. And that's what that activity really shows us. But, and you say that one of the ways that young women should be taught to deal with the stress is to be kinder to themselves, self-compassion. What does so that mean It's so important. Exactly? It means basically when you make a mistake, try to be gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself the way you would talk to a close friend. We're always so much nicer to other people than we are to ourselves. Well, that makes a lot of sense. And you have a good analogy. Uh, for this. Why don't you test it out on everybody? Well, I was going to ask, who here has lost their keys? This is something we do in front of our children, right? And so often we can be very hard on ourselves when we do that. What do you say when you lose your keys? I'm losing my mind. Yeah, losing your mind. So, so the question is, if we could do something different in front of our kids and say, I lost my keys, this is really stressful, I'm worried about it, but it's going to be okay. We teach our girls not to beat themselves up when they make a mistake. So th that's one thing we do, but how, you know, sometimes there are real stressful situations that you can't wish away in any way. How do we deal with All that? All right, well, first we want to tell 
tell our teens that stress is normal, it's not their fault, they're under pressure and we're here for them. It's not that they're putting pressure on themselves. We also want to teach them to have gratitude. So when you're in the car with them, you could even text them, say, what are you grateful for right now? Because when you can appreciate what you have in this moment, it's the best shield against that disease that I'm not enough. Is there any difference in the way you think moms and dads should deal with daughters? Well, I think, you know, dads sometimes have so much more permission to reject this, the pressure to be perfect. So I think the more you can screw up in front of your kid, and blow it off, the better for them. No problem on that. Okay. <laughs> Rachel, thanks very much. Thank Enough you. as she is, is out tomorrow. Rachel Simmons is going to be back with more on teens also tomorrow. It's a story about toxic social media pressure. Yeah. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.